राष्ट्र फैकल्टी हैव फेल्ट द नीड टू एक्सप्रेस आवर सेल्फ वी आई वुड एम्फोसाइज दैट दिस वी डू नॉट एम टू स्पीक for the institution as a whole but the on behalf of the signatories to this statement of which we have now around 65 and we hope more will join because it is still in circulation <laughs> that the students in the general body meeting yesterday have uh, decided on another resolution but uh, it is clear that these are events that shake all of us so i would like now to request professor ramaya or professor jayshankar to read out the statement so uh, after that there will be a few remarks by some of us present i now ask professor jayshankar to read the uh, text of the statement <laughs> statement uh, of the, on the events at hcu and jnu from faculty of the tata institute of social science in mumbai we the undersigned are deeply shocked and dismayed by the processes that led to this suicide of rohit memula at hcu in january and the ongoing attacks on students and faculty of jnu <coughs> at hyderabad central university rohit memula a dalit research scholar was labeled as anti national and driven to suicide in january through systematic persecution at jawala nehru university new delhi over the last few days kanaya kumar the president of the jnu students union is held in police custody sedition on february 15 2016 the police stood by as mute spectators while a group of lawyers and hooligans uh, attacked students and faculty of jnu who had gone to the patiala house solidarity with kanaya kumar was to be produced there there are parallels between the unfolding events in hcu and jnu and the continuing agitation of students in the hyderabad central university in hyderabad it was a front organization of the ruling party that initiated a complaint against the students students of hcu launching a course of even that eventually took the life of rohit bemula in jnu too it is the organizations of the ruling party that have moved the police into action that sent kanaya kumar to jail further in both cases the bogey of sedition has been raised by the government to threaten the dissenting student and suppress protests the supreme court of the country has repeatedly upheld the right to such freedom to criticize not merely the government or uh, government of the day but the indian state itself it has underlined that mere speech without explicit incitement to violence or the pernicious tendency to create public disorder does not attract the charge of sedition <coughs> the events at hcu and jnu are an unprecedented assault on <coughs> academic freedom and autonomy that follows from the constitutional guarantee to freedom of expression institutions of higher education across the country are facing similar challenges in the wake of systematic efforts aimed at creating fear and polarization on campuses it is the role of universities to be inclusive spaces giving voice to the marginalized that must nurture the critical spirit to question reason and listen and act without fear it is not merely the right but the duty of all institutions of higher education to safeguard and foster such freedom we demand that the government 
immediately take action against those involved in the betting of Rohit Benmula's suicide and meet the demands of the Joint Action Committee at FCU. We also demand the release of Tanaya Kumar, the President of the JNU Students Union, from custody and withdrawal or charges against the students. We demand a hold to the continuing targeting and harassment of the student body. We demand that all police personnel be withdrawn from within the JNU campus. We demand that strong action be taken against those responsible for the brutal assault on students at Patiala House Court. We condemn all <coughs> condemn all divisive forces and uphold constitutional values. We extend our solidarity and support to the students and faculty of HCU and JNU. We call upon students, faculty and staff of all, of all higher education, education institutions to unite to fight intolerance against dissent and ensure that the right to freedom of expression especially in academic institutions, is not eroded or undermined in solidarity.